Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be discussing my 36 hour dry fast experience. But before we get started, if we haven't met, my name is John Corrett, also known as Vegan Strong Dad. And on this page we discuss different experiences involving diet, exercise and weight loss, as well as testimonials from different people around the world. So if you're new to the page, go ahead and give it a like. And maybe in the comments section, uh, list where you're viewing from so we can connect. So before we get started on dry fasting, I'd like to start by saying that I'm not a physician and I recommend anyone who's preparing to attempt this, uh, do your own research because this type of fast is not for everyone. Now it's important to understand that there are two types of dry fast that you can do. There's a soft dry fast and a hard dry fast. Now on a soft dry fast, you're still allowed to brush your teeth, rinse, uh, shower, shave, bathe. Um, just can't drink any water and of course you can't have any food. On a hard fast, on the other hand, that's a bit more extreme. Now on a hard fast, in addition to not eating or drinking anything for whatever the duration is you set up for yourself, you're also not gonna be rinsing, no brushing of the teeth, no showering, no shaving. So this is something you might wanna put a little more planning into. Now in my particular experience, I started on Sunday night where uh, about 8 p.m. I had a bottle of water and my soft fast began then. And I call it a soft fast because I knew that 12 hours after that, 8 a.m., I was going to wake up, shower, shave, brush my teeth, which is what I did, didn't drink any water, uh, and then I just began my day. And from that 8 a.m. until 8 a.m. the following day, I had no food, no water of any kind, no showering, no shaving, no brushing of teeth. And I can tell you, uh, in my own personal experience, it wasn't all that different from a typical fast that I do. I do a lot of water fasting. We can talk about that in another video. I did feel thirsty a lot. <laughs> For those of you that know me, uh, I consume about 200 ounces of water a day. Uh, and for me to go from 200 ounces of water a day to absolutely no water was a bit of a change. So that's something that took some adjusting. But other than the thirst, I, I got to tell you, I felt fantastic, you guys. My, my experience was what I felt after 36 hours of water fasting, I began to feel after about 24 hours of dry fasting. Now, some of you that done your research know the body is going to function on glycogen until you run out of all of your stores, right? And then you're going to turn to fat. The difference is when you're water fasting, you, you're going to prolong that. So the effect isn't going to kick in until about 36 hours. Whereas when you dry fast, especially a hard dry fast, I got to tell you, I felt it after about 18 hours. After the 24th hour, I was really feeling a difference. And all the way into 36 hours, I, I felt fantastic, you guys. My energy level was way up. I didn't feel hungry anymore. I didn't feel lethargic. What I noticed is um, my clothes also felt a lot more loose. So. Uh, after I completed my 36 hours, I hopped on the scale, and I should say when I got on the scale before we began, I was right at 210 even. When I hopped on the scale uh, this morning after it had completed, I was at uh, 206 even. So I lost a full four pounds in 36 hours. Um, exercising. So this is something that you have to use some discretion on. Now, I personally exercised. I did my normal routine. Yep, I did 15, 15 minutes of cardio, and that led into 60 minutes of weight training. I didn't feel any uh, extra exhaustion, uh, no added fatigue. Uh, I was sweating, not profusely, but there was some sweat there. Um, again, the biggest difference was the thirst, you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is, you know, what I had been doing is I had been doing a water fast each uh, Monday. And then I would start my month with a 72 hour water fast, but I'm gonna be switching that to a dry fast each Monday and I'm gonna see how that works for me. So for those of you that have already attempted dry fast, please in the comments section, list what your experience was. I would love to hear it. Like I said, I've only done it one time. If you've never fasted before, pay close attention you guys. If you've never fasted before, I highly encourage you, do your research. It's not for everyone. You may wanna begin with a shorter term, like a 12 hour juice fast see how your body responds to it. Maybe work that way, work that into a uh, 24 hour water fast. See how your body responds to it. If you've never tried a 72 hour water fast, uh, the benefits are, are huge. And I can't list them all here on this video, but uh, I encourage you to do some research on that as well. Ultimately, to sum up my experience, I would say that the dry fast gave me everything the water fast does 
in a condensed amount of time. What it normally took me 36 hours to experience, I was able to enjoy in 24. And here I am, uh, my dry fast ended a few hours ago and I feel fantastic. Breaking the fast, and this is important, when you go to break your fast, it's important to keep in mind, stay away from anything processed, don't you know, put your body through this <laughs> huge change and then open it up with bad food. I wouldn't start with any carbohydrates. I would start with natural healthy fats. Uh, for me, I, uh, I began my break with a uh, greens drink. Those of you that follow me know I like um, Athletic Greens. Um, they don't sponsor me. I just enjoy their product, okay? Uh, so I had my eight ounce ice cold glass of Athletic Greens, and then I followed that up with half an avocado. I enjoyed that about 15 minutes after I finished the drink. And then about 20 minutes later, I had the other half. So within the span of about an hour, I had a, a full greens drink. I had half an avocado and another half of the avocado, and I felt great. Uh, about an hour after that, I had a bowl of oatmeal with my almond milk and my blueberries, and I felt just like my old self again. And here I am at the park, and I, I got to tell you, I've, I've never felt better, you guys. So this is coming from a 47, almost 48-year-old guy um, who's dropped over 100 pounds in the last, uh, what, what is it, almost six months. And this is my transition. So if I can do it, so can you. Once again, um, please list in the comments where you're viewing from. If you haven't already liked this page, go ahead and do that. I'd love to connect with you. And if you have any questions or if there's something you'd like to see in a future video, please shoot me a message and let me know. Other than that, thank you so much for listening. I hope you have a fantastic day. You guys are awesome.